Hello, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, Earthlings. Get your cup of tea, steaming hot tea. Somebody has just landed with a bump. With a bump and a long overdue check of reality. Prince Harry has lost his uh, appeal to have a judicial review to see if the UK taxpayers or American taxpayers or taxpayers of any country are going to fund security for him and his wife. Now, I've only just heard about this, so this video may not be that accurate in facts. And I'm sure any of you out there, if I've got anything wrong, you can correct me and there will be subsequent follow up videos because I've literally only just heard this. We've been using a grinder, but I'll come to that later. So as I was saying a few days ago, I do believe that the stunt, and it was a stunt, that was pulled in New York in the poorest of taste, in fact most distasteful, by uh, Meghan and her setting paps up and then throwing them under the bus and all that kerfuffle and the mayor of New York ending up having to speak out to defend his city and the New York police having to defend their city and the taxi driver who didn't seem to think anybody was in any danger at all and paparazzis at least one of which was American and a person of colour because I've seen sugars say they were British paparazzi no this gentleman is definitely American and although his face was shielded I saw his hand and he is a person of colour and he said that it was Harry and Meghan's driver being erratic and unreasonable. Since that stunt, I do believe I said a few days ago that from what little I have gleaned of the British judiciary, they are not amused. Now I've read The Independent and The Guardian just now because they're really firmly on Harry's side, being left wing and fervently republic. Uh, publications. Not Republic as in the Republican political party in America. Republic as in they don't want a monarchy. So, because I know with a lot of people in America they get that, they're not quite sure when we're talking about Republicans in the UK. When we talk about Republicans in the UK they're people that believe that uh, an elected, solely an elected head of state like America, like France. Um, well, I have to say, I think that Harry's approach all along has been really quite arrogant and unrealistic. Um, Ravek are the ones in charge and the Home Secretary and the Home Office. And they have said all along that it would be wrong for um, celebrities and the wealthy, because it would set a precedent for the wealthy to hire British guns and to put specialist officers in danger for all kinds of rich people um, that that really does take away I mean that is very much the argument of our people in the UK that support the idea of having a republic country as opposed to a monarchy um, that the monarch is not an absolute benevolent despot in the UK far from it our monarch is a public servant. Our monarchs are painfully aware, the, the late Queen and now King Charles III, they are painfully aware of public money, public spending. Prince Harry seems to think that because he's a prince, he can demand whatever he likes. And actually, I think he's been allowed to get away with an awful lot. So, sort of in fairness to him, I suppose that because he's been given whatever he wants for such a long time, he believes he, he is all-powerful to the extent that he can not only take away the freedom of speech and rights of citizens in the United Kingdom, the Commonwealth, but also in his guest country, America, and refer to Americans' um, First Amendment as bonkers. That he can have people like Christopher Boozy included on his and Meghan's Netflix production, of which they had full editorial control, um, to the extent 
that YouTubers have been silenced and bullied. People on other social media platforms have been silenced and bullied, bullied for merely questioning, asking, is Megan telling the truth? Well, it's all come to an abrupt end. And I have mentioned to you that I have a Harry supporter who only a couple of days ago, after chewing my ear out about how I live in an echo chamber, by the way, I have not looked at the Daily Mail deliberately or the Sun just now, just the Independent and the Guardian and the BBC. That person assured me Prince Harry will win every single court case, hands down. Well, for that person, he lost. And I think it's quite right too, because these specialist officers are asked to put their lives at risk. And after the debacle, the stunt in New York the other day, it doesn't surprise me one bit that he has lost this court case. Um, that was deliberately set up to make uh, it look, and it, it could actually have ended up in somebody being hurt, perhaps an in, innocent pedestrian, someone who's nothing to do with anything, just so a couple of rich spoilt brats can make a point. Well, there you go, Megan really cooked his goose on that one. Speaking of which, I forgot to mention it in yesterday's video actually, <laughs> it's absolutely tipping it down here today, tipping it down. It does rain in Spain, even here just 14 miles away from northern Africa. Um, I would imagine, I know there has been some footage already on uh, German media, but I would imagine that is only the tip of the iceberg. I would imagine there are bidding wars going on in the background right now uh, between Backgrid and various media outlets and good for them. I think they're fed up with her and I wouldn't be a bit surprised if it doesn't come out pretty soon that there is factual hard evidence that it was her herself who set her father up. Let's see. Let's see if that comes out. And I bet there's a darn sight more besides. So as I said about, oh, lost count now, three or four days ago, the downfall has begun and it begins slowly and then it picks up momentum as the rock rolls down the hill. And I, I am loving it. I am loving it because to anybody out there who is narcissistic, who thinks that lying, manipulating, uh, telling unnecessary lies about people to get them into trouble. She is the patron saint of narcissists. And I hope they all take a big gulp and think, oh, maybe lying doesn't always win. And perhaps the world will become a better place. In the meantime, we're all looking forward to tonight to see if she does turn up at the um, California Gracie Awards and what she'll be wearing. I, I suspect if she does go, Harry will not be with her and a lot of you have said that already. One or two of you have made an excellent observation that she might appear um, by Zoom to avoid having to attend in person and the embarrassment of A-listers shunning her. Um, or of the fact that uh, no paparazzi turn up or perhaps she'll hire some paparazzi who are rather elderly with Zimmer frames uh, so they can do the one and a half mile an hour car chase or whatever it is. I mean some of those paps the other night were on bicycles for goodness sake. Well I expect this will come as a tremendous blow to Prince Harry and I dare say a lot of you will be celebrating that your hard earned tax money and not only that, specialist police officers who are human beings are probably greatly relieved that they won't turn out to be guns for hire to the nearest Instagram loving bitch, whoever that may be, or celebrity tart, or someone who wants to make a big doodah and put their lives in danger. Today, the British judiciary has restored my faith in British justice. Let's see, he may win other court cases, I really don't know. 
But as I say, having peeked into a few legal journals, uh, the judiciary are not amused. As always, thank you very much for listening and I look forward very much to hearing your right to exercise your free speech and opinions.